Samoan Siva to the Tongantau Lunga. Pacific culture and pride was in full force at this year's ASB Polyfest. About 60,000 people flocked to the Monaco Sports Bowl in Auckland to see more than 50 schools perform traditional dances, songs and speeches. The last four years have been marred by cancellations and postponements, with last year being in front of judges only. For many, it's a return to normal. I tried to go to the last one three years ago. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get back home to Australia. I just nearly didn't make it, so it's so good. And the weather's pretty good too, and pretty lucky, aren't we? Even Prime Minister Chris Hipkins got in on the action. <laughs> It's also a revival for Pacific businesses. Stallholder Anna Lauval of Pollyanna's has been coming to Polyfest for the past seven years. Yes, it's good to be back. We, we weren't going to come. We have, um, we're from Hawke's Bay. We had a cyclone in Hawke's Bay. And we were going to come. We got an immense there, but it cancelled. So we made our way here. And all our customers are happy for us to be back. Other businesses are using it as an opportunity to introduce new products. This is our first Polyfest and so we're pretty excited to uh, be here. Yeah, so it's awesome. The response, yeah, it's good because obviously people know who we are online and so we get a lot of people that come back and go, oh, you guys are the ones online. So it's been really great. Like everyone's been um, really warming. It's uh, really welcoming. So yeah, we love it. Future funding remains uncertain due to council budget cuts. Festival director Siwili Terry Leo Mao says there's a clear message from schools to make sure the festival continues. The schools will make sure it runs, uh, the Polyfest Trust Board will make sure it runs. Um, all those obstacles that we've had in the last few years with COVID and everything, you know, one of the key, key messages we were getting from schools was make it happen. A sentiment echoed by everyone who was there this weekend and 300,000 who watched it online. So they have provided the, uh, the venue for us. Um, they provided a lot of event facilitation that we wouldn't be able to pass a lot of permits and things that we need to be compliant for this festival. So, um, yeah, we do get a lot of support from them. This budget cut, however, has thrown a spanner in the works and um, we will make sure that we put in a submission. Kalia Strong, PMN News.